May have the perfect way for such a scenic trip. She's live at the Western Railroad uh, Railway Museum. Love nature. If your kids love trains, this is definitely the way you want to go. Now, we're showing you like right at the beginning of the season because this is going to be happening all of April. So it's not going to even be as close to as picturesque as it's going to be if you choose to come on out here. So, whoa. Okay. <laughs> you got to be careful. That's why you're supposed to be sitting down while the train is going. Okay, so we, uh, we just saw Jackrabbit out there, and you get the chance to see nature and some of these beautiful wildflowers. Now, the ones that we're seeing right now, we're seeing a lot of purple. Bill, what are the purple flowers that we're seeing? Well, they're uh, what's the lupin, uh, the, the, and so later in the year, they the grow color. Oh, really? Yeah, and they'll get, and if you look on some of the scenes right now, it's vast carpet of, of blue. Yeah, in fact, if you look back out behind this window, you can see it's just like a sea of purple, and it's actually going to be even more picturesque when you choose to come on out here. They're, they do these on Wednesdays and on the weekends, and, and I'm telling you, it just looks totally purple. But because this is the beginning, uh, they're not as fully in bloom yet. Uh, but you will get the chance to be able right. to see this. So this train was actually used back in the uh, early 1900s, and it took people from Sacramento to San Francisco. It was the fastest route. How long did that take? Just about three hours. About three. If you went all the way to San Francisco. Okay. And then that included the ferry boat ride and the ferry boat ride across the river. The train would actually be on a ferry boat. Right. Why? Well, because there was no bridge. <laughs> and, and, and they didn't want to pay to build the bridge. Build the bridge. And it wasn't until the Southern Pacific built their big bridge across the Carquina Straits that they beat the Sacramento Northern right, uh, to get to Sacramento. Now, how long is this train ride if people want to come out and take it? It's about an hour. About an hour. Okay. And so we're going just a little bit slower because we want to try and give you uh, the chance to be able to see this. This is through the Western Railway Museum. Now, they do a lot of different special events, and this just happens to be the wildflower train in the month of April. Now, you, that's your only chance to see these beautiful wildflowers is in the month of April. So we're talking Wednesday and the weekends. Now, earlier, I was telling you guys about how Scott Holcomb, he keeps trying to avoid, you know, being my photographer. Yeah. So people have been emailing me. They've been very concerned that nobody wants to work with me any longer. <laughs> and, you know, I planned this beautiful train ride. Uh -oh. For Scott Holcomb, and he somehow <laughs> managed to again. Dave Grasshoff. Oh, I'm having trouble this with this last time. He was taking tons of pictures, lots of livestock, lots of wildflowers. Scott Setner, what's your feeling on the train? Do you like it? Oh, oh, I, oh no, oh no. Probably because I'm on the train with him, it's not as nice. I'll, I'll try and make some better conversation. Than uh, what I was tweeting about that we were talking about in the live talk. Maybe that's it. Uh, maybe I'm talking too much. You know what? <laughs> this should probably just be the scenic, You're right. beautiful. Just give us a look outside. With Very no nice. talking. Can be as a lovely So enjoy companion. this.